The dust settling from last night's election victory parties in Connecticut. Democrats were the overall big winners. Democratic candidates for mayor, for selectmen, and town governing boards were victorious in seizing control from Republicans in more than 20 communities. Political planners are already saying next year will be different. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis is here with the election, election day wrap-up. Mark. Hi, Anna Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, President Donald Trump may have had some impact on some voters here, but mostly this was all about local issues. As chairman of the Democratic Governors Association, Governor Malloy couldn't have been happier today about the big wins for Democrats in Virginia and New Jersey. Pretty extraordinary. I, I, I think Democrats have had a, uh, a good night last night around the country. The governor also says that the Democrats' big gains at city and town halls here in Connecticut yesterday is a reflection of the party's overall appeal to women, minorities, and the middle class. I think when you see in small towns and big towns that kind of uh, uh, swapping out of one party to another, it, it means our, our message is uh, resonating. And it's hard to argue with the outcome. The Democrats flipped control of either the mayor, first selectman, or town governing bodies away from the Republicans in 22 Connecticut communities. The Republicans were only able to flip six communities from Democrat to Republican. State Democratic Party Chair Nick Boletto says that party organizers learned from major Republican gains made in last year's legislative elections. Democrats came back home and really uh, performed after November 9th of last year. Uh, the activists throughout the state with the state party were very, very vocal and have put in a lot of work. The Democratic Party contacted hundreds of thousands of potential Democratic voters, making 15 times as many phone calls as last year. Republican State Party Chairman J.R. Romano admits the Democrats were able to get people out that probably never voted in municipal elections before, but that next year's legislative races will be different. The crisis isn't going away, um, the business climate isn't going away, and it, it, the Democrats own uh, the mess that, that our state's in fiscally. Of course, Chairman Romano is talking about the long state budget stalemate which, of course, is still not really over. Technically, they still have to make some adjustments to that budget that the governor signed last week. And there's every indication that there will be more red ink in the near future. So that issue is definitely not going away. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.